Hi there, welcome to MJ Feng Shui. This is Marlena, and I invite you to subscribe to my channel here and join my Facebook group, MJ Feng Shui. We would love to have you. For today's video, we are going to focus on our refrigerators. Our refrigerator is located in the kitchen area, usually. So, what is the kitchen area? The kitchen area is where we prepare our meals, where we sit and share the meals. And today, we're going to look a little bit at the health of the refrigerator and the bagua. Now, as we look at a bagua map, we see nine sectors in our home space. Each and every one of us has a health sector in our home according to our chart as well we have another health sector for each person individually now most of us have never looked at the refrigerator as being a health sector so I want you to also add your refrigerator as a health sector for you. So in doing that today, I want to share a couple of tips with everyone listening and please share them with your loved ones and friends because this is very important to your overall health and well-being. Nutrition plays a big part in our health. Yes, it does. And if our refrigerator is a part of our health sector, shouldn't our refrigerator have a healthy vibration to it, a healthy energy, okay? This is what we're looking at. Now, look at your refrigerator. It doesn't matter what material it's made out of. It is a solid metal and electronic device, okay? We plug it in and it just works its magic right and we don't think much about it we just put our you know liquids and our solids in it some people put their vitamins in it and their medicines okay and that's fine but what we're going to look at today is the health of that refrigerator and the first thing i want you to look at is the top of your refrigerator it has dust collecting on it okay the heat from the refrigerator rises upward so a lot of people tend to put boxes on top of it or containers now if your refrigerator has any cereal containers or bowls on top of it um, you know any food remove it right now okay get a little stepladder and look up there and see how much of the dust has accumulated up there. I know a lot of you are going, ew, it must be gross, it's been a long time, you know, but we should do this a lot. Reach up there and put on your magic cleaning gloves and begin to clean it, okay? Wash it very well dry it very well do not put anything back up there okay because of the energy that is going upward there all right now look at the door of your refrigerator and the handles very important we are always touching the handles okay on your refrigerator you may have magnets and papers and you know things that are sticking on there sticky notes um, you know stuff like that remove all that stuff for right now and wash down the front of the device here wash the handles and behind the handles where we grip them sometimes you have food on your fingers and that is all dried up on the handles all right that's not very healthy is it no all right so let's use a little scrubby sponge there and some Lysol and begin to clean that surface all right if you can get to the sides of your refrigerator that is really a good idea 
to get down behind there. Now behind the refrigerator, a lot of dust gets behind there as well. There's coils. And if you can get that refrigerator removed from the wall and you can vacuum behind it, wash down the walls and clean the surface of the refrigerator. All right, vacuum out underneath it because all the dirt that goes under the refrigerator as well. All right, we don't want to miss a spot. Take down all cobwebs, they lead to poverty. Push the refrigerator back and then we open it up. Now, this is going to be a job for some people. All right, other people have a much cleaner refrigerator, which is awesome. But for those that do not um, clean the refrigerator at least once a month, this is for you. Take all the shelves out, take all your bins out, including the uh, liquid bins that hold soda drinks, things like this. Also your egg um, holders, take them out. All the side doors, okay, all the shelving, um, and all the bins in the bottom for your vegetables, take those out and begin to wash each and every one of them. This will take some time, but it is well worth it. All right, wash them down. Use a scrubby sponge, all right, with some Lysol. A lot of people are thinking about chemicals, okay? But Lysol is one of the most known cleaners for killing germs and we need to kill the germs all right that accumulate in a refrigerator so taking all that into consideration putting it in hot uh, sudsy water in your sink um, please do that if you cannot fit it in your sink put it in your bathtub in hot sudsy water and let it soak for a while so that you can clean out the inside of your refrigerator with ease and grace. So what I suggest is starting at the top of the refrigerator, the roof of the inside of the refrigerator, all right? A scrubby sponge, all right? Use one of those, all right? And keep cleaning it out as you're working from each section. Scrub down the sides and the back, the vegetable bins, all the door areas in your refrigerator need to be cleaned out. Then dry them. So allow them to dry your food and drinks. Place them in the sink. They will not go bad in a half an hour, knowing that. It is okay to take time to clean this out. Now, after that is done, I suggest that you leave the doors open for a few minutes, like 10, 15 minutes with nothing in there whatsoever, allowing a fresh energy, a fresh chi, a new energy coming into the refrigerator, okay? Now, you and I both know about saging our homes. You don't need to sage the refrigerator, but I do suggest that you take a bell and ring it, all right, all around the refrigerator inside to remove all negative energy from old food energies, okay? I am very um, strict about what energy I bring into my home. And when I bring in my groceries or food gets delivered here, I actually clear the energy before it enters my home. I raise the vibration of it and I clear the energy from the people and from all the experiences that the food has gone through. Now, look at all your food that was in the refrigerator, all right? Are you going to be using that food at all, all right? How long has it been in there? Is there an expiration date? Check all these things out. If you have gone out and you had dinner, is that food going to be eaten the next day? If not, 
it's going to be wasted, okay? So make sure that you are consuming the food that you are placing in the refrigerator within two days. If not, it's a waste of your time and your money. And we are also going to strive to only put food into the refrigerator, which is healthy and nutritious for you. All right, so look at your goods that have been in there and see what is going on because your digestive system is running your entire body. It will show you, okay, in many ways when it's off, all right? So if you have been consuming hot, spicy food and your stomach cannot handle that, you are going to get a response from your body. And you know that. If you've been eating all junk food, your body is going to respond to that energy that you're putting into it. All right. So look at your overall health of you and your refrigerator. Do you need to start putting in healthy vitamins, healthy nutritional foods, foods that give you an energy blast, foods that make you look good, feel good, okay, and your family members as well. We are looking at um, water. Make sure that you have really good, pure water. Juices, very good. Yogurts, okay, low sugar yogurts. A lot of people are making their own smoothies now, nutritional drinks, things like that are great. Get yourself some vegetables, healthy vegetables, all right? Wash them and then, you know, um, use them, all right? Every day you should have some fruit and vegetables in your diet. I know a lot of people are like, I don't like this vegetable or that vegetable. That's fine. Eat the ones that you do like, all right? Your body will love you for it. And from now on, when you look at your refrigerator, okay, look at your refrigerator as your digestive system, as your health system. It is a health sector in your home. A lot of people don't uh, focus on this, but I have gone into homes and the refrigerator is full of junk food and leftovers. It's a big mess. There's spills all over the place and you just want to take everything out and clean it for them. All right. That's just me. And then there's other places I go to and there's hardly anything in the refrigerator. So either way, we're looking at an energy. All right. So people with no food or drinks or whatever in the refrigerator is showing a sign of they are not feeling well energized because there's nothing there in their health sector, all right, to feed them with, right, to supply the water energy that they need. You need liquid in your body. So how are you receiving your water every day? Feng Shui is the energy, okay, of wind and water. So think about that. What kind of liquid are you consuming every day? Is it good for you? All right. Is it good for your body? All right. And why are you consuming that liquid? Think about that. All right. Is it healthy? All right. Water is healthy. All right. For the most part. All right. Now, food, some of it is not healthy and we know it. All right. We know it. All right. So if you sat there and you just ate ice cream all day and cookies all day and wondered why you are not feeling well, not looking well, that's why. All right. So take a look at your health bagua in the refrigerator area. All right. And all around the refrigerator must be kept clean as well. Think about your kitchen now. All right. And take one job 
at a time in your kitchen. Today we want to start with the health of your refrigerator because that definitely has a lot to do with your overall health and well-being. If you're not sleeping at night, what are you consuming during the day? All right. And after five o'clock, if you are drinking coffee, um, caffeinated beverages, you know, it's time to shut that down at about five o'clock at night. Okay. And start drinking uh, some water. All right. A little bit of water and maybe having some nutritional relaxing snacks. Okay. If you are a snacker at night, get something that is good for you. All right. Strawberries. All right. Good to eat. Um, healthy. All right. And they taste really good. A uh, little bit of banana. All right. Something like that. Or you can have one of your smoothies or a little yogurt or applesauce. Something like that. Very gentle on the body so that you can relax and unwind. And actually, when you go to bed, your body still has a little bit of food and nutrition running through it, but not so you get a stomach ache when you lay down. So I know myself, I can sleep very well after a good meal, all right? And I don't have a weight issue. A lot of people have a weight issue. And look at your refrigerator. What's in it, okay? What's on it? What's around it? And weight, all right? You're carrying weight of excess things in there sometimes. It could be full with junk, full with debris, full with old food, all right? That holds energy. It's like pushing down on your health. So you want to alleviate that pressure and, you know, take time today to go through your kitchen area, starting with the refrigerator. So I hope you enjoyed these tips today, and I will be speaking to you about some other feng shui tips. Join us here and share, like, and join my Facebook group, MJ Feng Shui. I will speak with you soon. Have an awesome, healthy day. Bye.